AM Best is maintaining its stable outlook on the Japan non-life insurance segment. I'm John Weber for AM Best TV, and I'm speaking today with Jason Shum from AM Best Hong Kong, who authored the report on Japan's non-life insurance segment. Jason, what's driving the stable outlook? Well, following a recent review of Japanese non-life insurance companies, we have decided to affirm the current market segment outlook to be stable. And that is mainly underpinned by several major reasons. First of all, for fiscal year 2019, although there were a number of negative factors that affected the industry, the industry continued to report solid and profitable underwriting results. Over the next 12 months, we continue to expect that the industry underwriting performance to remain strong and solid, and this will be supported by various initiatives to improve productivity, efficiency, um, enhancing the ability of the industry to assess the risk of climate change, adjusting the premium rates, and also keeping exposure to natural catastrophes within a manageable level. And taking all these factors into account, we continue to expect that the industry's overall profitability to be remain strong and consistent. How have the various segments within the sector performed relative to each other? Well, for fiscal year 2019, with the exception of the fire line, actually most lines of business remain quite profitable and stable compared to previous years in terms of insurance underwriting profits. The fire line continues to be underperforming relative to other lines of business, mainly as a result of heightened frequency of domestic natural catastrophes, such as typhoons. And although most players have been raising premium rates to increase their improve their profitability, it will take time for the effects to be fully recognized in the financial numbers, given that a lot of the residential fire policies are actually multi-year contracts. And if you look at the industry in terms of um, product mix, actually the largest lines of the industry continues to be voluntary auto, which represent roughly 50 to 60 percent of the industry's overall premium. And this line of business has remained very profitable and stable. And over the short to medium term, we do expect that this line of business will continue to contribute to the industry's profitability. It will maintain um, pretty strong and solid in terms of performance, given the recent trends, which is favorable, and also the potential for further rate increases if the profitability deteriorates. Jason, has the pandemic had any impact on the sector? Well, yes, but actually not that much. For non-life insurance companies in Japan, Actually, a major concern with regard to the pandemic is actually the economic implications of uh, COVID-19 on the economy and the industry. Because the economy can in turn affect certain lines of business that may be more vulnerable to economic downturn. And that can be like marine insurance or travel insurance. But so far, that effect has been largely offset by the decrease in claims frequency in voluntary auto, which, as I mentioned before, it usually represents roughly 50 to 60 percent of the overall industry's premium. So indeed, the pandemic has some negative effects on certain lines of businesses, but the overall effect is not, that, not yet that significant to the industry as a whole. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome, John. That was Jason Shum, Associate Director of Analytics. You can find the full report online at ambest.com. For AMBest TV, I'm John Weber.